All right, uh, let me let me ask uh, Jose now that you you guys are already here in Nigeria, you know, trying to see how I mean we can push uh, the sport of uh, boxing, you know, make it a household name. We, it is already a household name. I mean, but talking about the younger generation now, I mean, what the first thing, you know, what first step uh, are you bringing uh, to the table, you know, to ensure that uh, we have something really big? You know, one of the best things we can do is to inspire them, to inspire these youths into taking up boxing. And it's not just going to benefit those youths. It's going to benefit, benefit everybody. Mm. The government is going to benefit them because uh, they, they, they're going to get money. some revenue from there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to benefit them as well because they're going to create jobs. Because uh, the boxers are getting paid, the managers are getting paid, the TV, me, the TV houses are, ha are happy, the advertisers are happy, the people watching, uh, who are watching the, uh, the boxing are happy. So it's a win-win situation for everybody. Also, we, uh, we the government need, uh, need to kickstart it, then all of a sudden, it will continue itself. Okay. This, mm. It will sustain itself. Right. So we need to create that industry, get it on TV all the time, and then we. The, uh, the the what you call uh, the so-called stars of boxing can continue to inspire these youths for them to take up boxing. It's right. that simple. I'm very sure young people will want to ask you this question. I'm going to ask you this: um, How far can talent take you? If you know, he's talking about having a backbone, having a support, if you don't have Don King as your promoter, mm. and you, you know you don't really have some of this is probably was lucky to have. How how far can okay, talent okay. take you, especially if you're in Nigeria? Here is the thing. And uh, it's a misconception, you know, about talent. Talent doesn't get you very far. Okay. When it comes to sports, to succeed, talent is about 5%. You know. All right. The rest is about hard work. Mm. And a little bit of luck. Mm. Hard work, that's what matters. Major. You know? Yeah, that's the main thing. Hard work. And believe in yourself more. A lot of times, uh, it's a Nigerian uh, situation whereby you want, you, if you want to be a lawyer, you're not going to be going to church all the time praying to be a lawyer. <laughs> mm. You're going to study. Your, you, you're going to yeah. study hard. You, you know, go to, go to yeah. You know, go to university, study, study law. Make sure you get good grade. Yeah. Then go to law school. That's it's it. that simple. So if you're a boxer, stay in the gym a lot. Don't yeah. stop going to the church and stop going to night <laughs> vigil. Stop going to mosques <laughs> all the time. <laughs> face, face your job. Mm. That's what we need to do. But when I say people, are, nah, well, you're not so religious. Mm. Listen, I want to box. I'm going to go to the gym and train all the time. When I'm on my bed sleeping, I'm going to wake up in the early in the morning and start thinking about boxing. Mm. How I can get better. Mm. All, the, all the best sportsmen around the world, that's how we do it. Mm. Mm. But you're not, going to, you're not going to see Messi in the, uh, in the church five times, five, times a, <laughs> five times a week. That's not going to happen. You're not going to see Ronaldo in the church mm. five times a week. No. Training. Training. He's going to be Sweating training. He's going to be busy. And I when he's not training, he's resting. Yeah. Because that's part of the regime too. Mm. Because you need to rest well. Mm. But I, I saw some boxers over here and he, he saw me on Monday said, I'm, I'm going to church. And I, and I said, I'm go did you go to church on uh, uh, last uh, yesterday? Mm. I said, yeah, yeah, I went to church. And you're going to the church to get again today. You're supposed to be in the bloody gym. Oh. Okay. And Wednesday is going to go for digging the digging point. Digging. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get we'll Larry talking. about the divine, the divine yeah. power. Uh, let's yeah. go to that just said. Let's just have bridge. those words and stuff. I just said right. bridge boxing. But Larry, let's get you talking. Um, <laughs> A lot of people say boxing is for the streets. You guys have been doing so much to so let people understand that boxing is a noble sport. How difficult is it to make parents understand that boxing is not rough? Because a lot of people say, I can't let my kid go into boxing because it's rough, it's about fighting. How can we change that? Amazingly, I lied to my mom that I'm going to after school club. Um, Where you were trying to when I, when I started boxing, I started at the age of 12. Um, I lied to my mom uh, that I'm going to after school club, but then she found out I was boxing. She saw me on the TV. Um, you know, <laughs> when too late for her. At that, it, was, at that stage. It, was, it was it was a bit too late. So on my way back to the house after the after the it was um exhibition about a Coca Cola down um Ejigbo them time. So I have to run I have to run back to go get my coach because I know she's gonna beat me. And boxing is not boxing is not a violent sport. Boxing is a very good sport, very good. It's good for the kids. It's, um, it's a healthy sport and also it, it, let, it give you um, self-respect and confidence for yourself and um, learn how, it, it teaches you how to, to, to respect 
others as well and keeps you out of trouble. Um, and as I just said earlier on, box, um, talent, I'm just referring back to that. Talent is just a, is just a head start. You know, you can you can be you can be so talented, but if you don't put the hard work in, it's never gonna you're never gonna go far. Mm. So hard work pays. So um, he always tell me, train. I mean, champions train and loses loses complain. Lose so right. Right. you know, mm. um, this is the only man that you will see that will eat digestive biscuit and still train twice a day. Mm. You know, so boxing is a great sport, and um, if you look at all. For example, the best, um, the highest paid athlete in the world, Floyd Mayweather. Wow, the money man. Yeah. Boxer. He's a, a boxer. boxer. And a lot of people, when you talk about boxing, the first thing they think about is fighting. I want, I, sometimes I ask myself, have they seen the MMA, mm. the, the UFC? That's what you call fighting. Boxing, you have to see the beauty of it. Mm. It's, not about, it's not about smashing one another. Mm. You, you come to boxing, you say it's a gentleman sport. So, and um, nowadays it's even better. If you get punched a few times, the referee will jump in. Mm. So they, they, they still get some money. That's right, exactly. I, I, <laughs> you know, that, wake, I think that really is such you know, what, the wake, of, you know, wake up uh, is a, uh, who's a boxer and yeah. who's a fighter that's yeah. right. in the ring. Right. I think that settles Wake that. up in the morning and go for running without getting chased by the police or by gang. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you understand? <laughs> that is good. Make you fit, healthy. Punch someone in the face, and oh. you get paid legally. Legally, it's an agreement. It's a contract. We're running out of time. I need it. We're running out of time. But I need a quick. We'll just questions. wrap this with them. We'll just exactly. we'll wrap this with them. Yeah. The afterlife of a boxer, you know, yeah. because you, you've told us uh, no, it's no problems, and you know, but the afterlife, because mm. a lot of people talk about Mohamed Ali, yes. Frank, yeah. you know, what has happened yeah. to those guys, and they talk about the afterlife of a boxer. So what happens when you're not in the sport, when you don't get to go to the gym every day? What happens to you? Here is the thing. Uh, boxing is dangerous, just like everything in life. Mm. Being a policeman is dangerous. Mm. Being a soldier is mm. dangerous. Being even being a driver is dangerous. You know, you will risk our, we risk our lives all the time. However, answering your, answering your question, after life of boxing, it depends on who you are as an individual. Okay. Sure. Some people, not just boxers, sportsmen, they have they get all the attention while while they are while they are, while they are active. But, but then after they retire, mm. they don't get the attention anymore. A lot of them go into depression. All right. Oh. All right. That's I, the problem. Wow. Now Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali has, has Parkinson. Mm. Okay. There are many people Within with Parkinson who are not boxers. Who are not boxers. I think so. You know. That's okay. That explains uh, it. That explains it. We gotta it. go. That that we should do a There's boxing so show. <laughs> we want these guys to go. <laughs> and let me just quickly take this message on Twitter. Moses Barco says, I'm proud of Larry and Shegun, but watch out for Kogi State Uloko. Ekele. Ah, yeah, I'm rooting for Ekele. He says we will win gold for Nigeria and the All Africa yeah. Games. Yeah. Good boxer. We totally have to agree. draw the curtain. Woo. Thank you so much for Ooh. spending time with us. We'll do it again uh, same time tomorrow. I'm yours truly, Ayotunde Balogun. Mm. I've enjoyed myself. I hope you did too. We'll do this again tomorrow. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Mm. And with a punch that will not help you calm down. We're with boxers. We'll show you so much love. I'm Austin Okonakwa. Let's do this again tonight. Until then, in everything you do, remember, let's keep talking sports. Bye for now. Mm.